There's a lot of assumed knowledge in mountain biking, terms and colloquial knowledge gets thrown around in the car park and sometimes there isn't the person there to explain it. So we've taken a few of these today that may be slightly different to usual FAQs, but stuff that we hear a lot, we want to just chat about and run through a few different things. Yeah, I mean, I usually think I know everything, but instantly as I looked at the list that you've got for us today, Isaac, I didn't even know the first one. So let's start with that, right, okay? Mm. Chamois leather, that padded mm. thing in your pants. Tell us why we're using it and where that word comes from. I can't believe it. The word, the word comes from a mountain goat from the Alps called a chamois. And <laughs> I, obviously back in the day, you know, that's what they had that's what they're made of. Yeah. They used goat. Yeah. But the goat's called chamois? Yeah, so chamois. Chamois goat. Um, Got it, right. And so, it's obviously become a little bit anglicised. and Yeah, that's where the name's but, from, from the goat, because it used to be a bit of goat. But yeah. why are we using it and should we use our underwear? That's the key question I wanted to address today. Basically, I think it's worth it for any FAQ video. Just, yeah. just wear the shorts. It's designed to just not have any seams or any other things that can cause bunching up and different chafing and friction in your saddle. I'm uh, such a child, I can't get through this bit without <laughs> laughing. Bunching up. And, uh, you know, because things get bunched up, they don't, do, they? don't they? They yeah. do, don't they? We're just saying what happens. Uh, and right. You can also use different like creams um, <laughs> in your shorts if you if you just want to have a little bit more like disinfectant, antibacterial properties. Cream in your shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can do that. <laughs> don't have to. I find it can be quite good riding back to back to back days, but. Um, Main thing, leave your underwear at home. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. We're yeah. going into some details of <laughs> things like chamois and stuff you didn't know you were going to butter up. That is what we're doing. <laughs> and first one, I'm going to start with some trail terms, all right? Yeah. Bike park trail, obviously, there's bike parks. Yeah. They have trails, it's obvious, but it's almost become a word that describes lots of types of trail, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. Um, Cause yeah, it's any trail in a bike park. Is a bike park but trail. It, I, the way I think about them is almost like a skate park yeah. on a mountain. So everything tends to be quite smooth, sort of transition based, mm -hmm. rollers, berms, rather than flat and off camber corners. Yeah, They've probably yeah. taken all the roots and rocks out, uh, made, you know, ramps. Yeah, and it, um, I guess it's like a term now these days, like someone will even refer to like a downhill track like, oh, it's a bit bike park. Yeah, almost pejoratively, but yeah. actually I think there's, it is really good for like developing those transition skills yeah. in that controlled environment. And then yeah. you use all that, knowing how to pump, knowing how to like set up high in a berm, that kind of thing on a less bike park trail that yeah. has more complex details to think about. Yeah, but a, st a style of trail, which is yeah. like the bike park trail, not necessarily in a bike park. Um, here's one that I really love, loam. I sort of say I love loam, but what is loam? Where will I find it? I mean, and what's good about it? Because when <laughs> someone says, oh, it's so loamy, I nod. Yeah. I don't uh, really know where I could find any. So this, we've looked this up, proper scientific definitions for us today. It's actually, it is a soil type officially defined as a 40-40-20 mix of sand, silt and clay. <laughs> Wow, this is deep. So it's all about a particle size. You know, so sand has the biggest particles. You can almost feel, you know, it's like gritty. Yeah. Then you've got silt, and then clay is like really, really fine and um, like buttery soil. You know, you know, buttery. It's like doesn't draw. Love it, love it. <laughs> um, and loam is a sort of that's that balanced mix of all three, and it seems yeah. to be, it works really, really well as a fertile soil for growing stuff, and uh, just performs great. There's something to tear up between your tyres, basically. Yeah, I guess because it it's got that really nice. You can basically bail in it a little bit safer than you can everything yeah. else, and you get those amazing drift corners. Yeah, it just looks spectacular. And, it, and it's it's like it supports. It's that nice soft for bailing, but then yeah. it will support you as well. Like it packs up underneath the tyres a bit. Yeah. Um, so. It, I can't tell you where, why, where it occurs, unfortunately. I mean, it, you just have it, to go and find it, don't you? Like, it, it is one of those things you have to hunt down, but I know in the UK, and I, you know, a lot of you guys aren't in the UK, but in the UK, Surrey Hills is a spot where you can find some really good loam, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. um, which is just outside London, west of London. Mm. Um, but it is one of those things where you can find it, and it does have a bit of a season, doesn't it? Loam yeah. season. Which is our next oh, I didn't, thing. I didn't know that at all. I feel well, like it's... The back end in the UK, this yeah. is we obviously have to qualify that. Um, it's that beginning of autumn time, you know. Oh. There's a little bit that I mean, this summer's been so wet, 
Yeah. It, we're not yeah. really going to have this, but normally all summer it's all dry, yeah. hard packed, dusty, and you get a little bit more rain. The trails begin to soften up a little bit. The loam begins to be malleable and workable, and you can just cut these trails loam in. Season. And they're not waterlogged. And yeah. you know, by October, November. Yeah. You're so dry wherever through you puddles. are, come into fall. Yeah. Very, very loam. Good, very inclusive. Yeah. Could be the one for you. Um, I love that. It's Get a, your flat pedals on. Flat pedals. That's definitely best for loam because you can yeah. go in one footed so much and get the drift on. Other types of trail. North yeah. Shore, that's one that someone might not know what that is. North Shore, what's that? Yeah, uh, well, north and west shores of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, back in the day, lots of uh, boggy bits between yeah. other amazing bits of trail, I guess, and they started like putting wooden bridges in that then are going to grow and develop into like the seesaws and what they call teeter-totters and yeah. over the pond and uh, other drops and features, wall rides, gaps, uh, made of slatted wood, basically, and that is obviously something you can put in in a lot of different places yeah. and, and it's, it's become more and more popular. And it's almost become little individual features on other trails now. So a little yeah. North Shore piece, so a drop will be a little wooden drop or you get a little log bridge across some gap. But yeah, it's a, a North Shore piece or a North Shore trail. Uh, I tell you what, if anyone wants to see, if you put in Isha Shore into Google, which has long disappeared now, it was a place just in South London, that, that photos of that will show you what North Shore was. Wow. It was just that. Little so much wood. Little search for you there. Right, uh, here's one I hadn't heard of before, but I sort of knew what it was straight away. Janky track. Yeah. Uh, Is that I, just a, a track slang. that's knackered? No, I feel like you could have a fresh track that was yeah. also very janky. I mean, obviously the word janky, I think dictionary yeah. it kind of means poor quality or broken, apparently. Uh, I think people use this to refer to tracks that are just sort of really not flowing technical, awkward, you think a couple of sort of maybe the duo races in the north of the UK that were super mm. rocky, slippery, nibbly or nadgery would almost yeah. be, the, you know, just, oh, this section's proper jank. You proper know, jank, you know, you know, love it. Hard on the brakes and having to maybe do an endo or something. What would you pick out of a bike trail trail or a janky track? I reckon you like janky I tracks. Know, I, do, I don't know, yeah. yeah. I do like a bit of bike park, actually. Yeah? Yeah. yeah so it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun type of trail, um, as opposed to something that's not not fun, but different, mm -hmm. enduro, enduro trail. Yeah, well, I've, put, I've very enduro as a sort very of enduro. description, yeah. it, as opposed to bike park. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, so this would be maybe something uh, I feel like it's it's maybe got a bits of uphill in it. It's got lots of traverses. It's got some janky sections. It's doing weird, interesting stuff. You might not find it on like a downhill track. Yeah. yeah. Or it's just a bit adventurous. Yeah. And oh, then like you find that in an enduro race. You know. Yeah. It's that I mean, of... enduro has got a bit of everything. And as soon as the trail's got a bit of uphill, it's already moving into the enduro world, <laughs> yeah, exactly. doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, I guess that mix. That's that's the janky and the enduro. Uh, yeah, type exactly. style. Definitely a variety in one of those enduro trails. Um, right, let's get on to some more bike-centric ideas. Yeah. Okay, some trail techniques actually on the bike, right? Yeah. Isaac, start me off with the cutty, right? Because I'm I actually find this one quite hard to think where I would have used it. I was never a cutty guy. So mm. where where do you use it and what sort of describe it for us? I feel like it's a little bit confusing because I feel like people talk about doing cutties all over the place, not yes. just in a corner. It's yeah. just sort of sliding about. But what, what I've always thought, and I read this in MBUK like when I was Back a little, in the day. you know, a long yeah. time ago. But it's like coming in inside in a corner yeah. and like sliding your bike up the corner, but really with no sharp, but no brakes, no just brakes. sort of unweighting the rear, leaning forward, going, yeah, and um, makes a cool noise. It does. Makes a cool It's not noise. necessarily the fastest way to corner. Yeah, but it's fun. But um, I tell you what, you see all the World Cup riders doing it. They love a bit of cutty, yeah. rap up the corners. I, I guess sometimes maybe there's not the support on the entrance to a corner, or yeah. you can't, there's a hole, or there's some reason why you need to do a slightly different line to like railing the outside, yeah. which is another term we should define sometime. Yeah. So you have to set up inside, and mm -hmm. so the only way to actually make it around the corner yeah. to turn your bike that sharply is to get it to slide, but you don't want to brake and slow down, so you just have to do a cutty. Cutty. And what you do is look cool. That's what you definitely do when you do it. It's a all cutting. about that, really. Love it. Apparently, I uh, heard Brendan Fairclough say on a video that if you touch the back brakes, it's no longer a cutty. It's over. It's You're now skidding. <laughs> yeah. 
I like that definition. Um, one of my favorites, uh, Scandi Flick. Scandi Flick, this is another way to look really cool on the trail. Okay, as you're coming into the corner, you actually let the bike drift on the back end the opposite way to you're about to turn. Then you let it go and maybe touch the brakes to bring it round and you whiplash the back end round yeah. just like a rally car. Scandinavian and that's, that's where it drift. Comes from, yeah. Right, Finnish racing drivers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and what they do is they catch a bit of the inside front wheel on the corner and it just drags it round. It looks epic. I love a Scandi flick. Um, can't do it myself. No, I've never. But no, you can. Sam, well, Sam, can. Sam Hill was a master of that, I think. Back yeah. In, I remember. Looks so good. Um, we've had some good turns. What's your favourite? I like the cutty. Scandi flick's good. Um, loam, loam season is loam. important this time of year. The it's hunt coming. For loam. The hunt for loam. Um, have you got any uh, terms that you'd like to hear us dive into and investigate? Mm. Uh, maybe drop them down in the comments section down below. It'd be good to hear from you. Okay. So if you get those down in the comments, it's always nicer to sort of work to try and demystify a little bit of these car park terms we hear in the mountain bike industry and sport. And uh, yeah, we'll try and answer as many of those as we can next time. See you later. <laughs>